So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go in and we're going to solve some linear congruences. All right, so what you're going to need to be able to do is you're going to need to be able to find the inverse using in order to be able to do this. We did that inside of an earlier video, so make sure that you go in and watch those earlier videos so that you know how to actually find these linear combinations and how to use them in order to find the inverse. Okay, so let's suppose we wanted to solve 35x minus 3 is equivalent to 8 modulo 78. And what we know uh, from earlier is that 29 times 35 minus 13 times 78 is equal to 1. All right, so that actually gives us, that's our linear combination. The linear combination tells me that 29 is the inverse of 35 in modulo 78. So that's actually going to be really important because at the end, after we've added 3 to both sides, I need to multiply 35 by something, by its inverse, okay, in order to, to, to make it equal to 1. Okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to start my, start my process. So I have 35, right, minus 3. So I'm going to add 3 to both sides. So I'm going to end up with 35x is equivalent to um, 11 mod 78, 11 mod 78, okay? Next up, I'm now going to multiply both sides by the inverse. So 29 times 35, x is equivalent to 29 times 11 mod 78, okay? So this is now x, and that will be equivalent to 319, modulo 78. Now I've all I've got all I've got to do is I've got to simplify that. So 319 mod 78, okay? That's we're going to solve that that's going to be 319 equals 4 times 78 plus 7. So that's my value, hence x equals 7. And there it is. Now I can in fact go and check that. I'll take 35 times 7 minus 3, okay, that's 242. Okay, so that's going to equal 242. And when I divide that by 78, so I'm going to take 242 is going to equal 78 times 3 plus 8. All right, so what that means here is, is that 242 is equivalent to 8 mod 78. And that checks it. That actually shows that x equals 7. All right? So it's a little bit more complicated, I guess, than what we would normally see instead of algebra. We'll start out. We, we need to have that uh, linear combination so that we can actually find the inverse. Right? And once we've done that, that's going to allow us to basically do the equivalent of division. Right? Basically, we're going to multiply in order to get the inverse. So I do my addition first. Addition just operates the same way as it normally would. Right? Add to both sides. Then I multiplied by the inverse right here. And that gave me this kind of equivalence. I multiply both sides by that inverse. And so then I'm, I'm left with this value mod 78. So I want to go in and I want to simplify that using modulo, uh, modular arithmetic, or actually just solving it modulo. So 319 ended up being 7, because that's the remainder. It's equivalent to 7, so x equals 7. And I can check just by simply plugging it in. 35 times 7 minus 3, that's 242. And what we see is that that is going to end up being equivalent to 8 mod 78. Okay, so let's take 13x plus 3 is equivalent to 14 mod 35. So you'll notice that we've got third modulo 35. Now from previously, we know that 3 times 35 minus 8 times 13 is equal to 1. So negative 8 is the inverse of 13 in modulo 35. Now you can use negative 8 if you'd like. But what I want to do is I actually want to turn that into a positive number. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to take 35 minus 8, that's 27, right? And so 27 is equivalent to 8 modulo 35. So 27 is also the inverse. 
So basically, we take our modulo, we subtract that, uh, or add the negative, right? Okay, subtract it from the modulo, and that gives us our um, equivalent positive value. Now, now I'm going to do some algebra. So this is going to be 13x is then going to be equivalent to 11 mod 35. Then I'm going to multiply both sides now by 27. So that's going to be 27 times 13x is equivalent to 27 times 11 mod 35. This means that x is then going to be equivalent to 297 modulo 35. Okay, and now we've just got to figure out what 297 is modulo 35. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to take 297. Okay, that's going to equal, that's going to equal 8 times 35 plus 17. So x equals 17. And that's our x. Now let's go and check it. I'm going to take 13 times 17 plus 3 that's going to equal that's going to equal 224 and then we'll find out well 224 mod 35 okay is in fact going to equal 14 because 235 uh, 224 equals 6 times 35 Plus 14 and so hence we've checked it and we've checked our answer all right so to solve linear congruences what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to find the inverse by first finding the greatest uh, by first finding the linear combination that makes up the greatest common divisor that will give us the inverse and then it's just a matter of multiplication by the inverse right and then solving modulo or converting modulo all right so this completes the video